Okay, here we go. Let's go ahead and put together our love hut. Now we're gonna start with the base because we need to lay a foundation for our special love shack because we know it's gonna be rocking. So the main base and the inner support base go together the same exact way. As you can see, there's four wall pieces, a top and a bottom. So we're not actually gonna put that together on camera because it's redundant, but I will show you how to put together the main base. And then we'll show you how to put it inside and how all that works. So we've got these pieces here. And what you wanna do is arrange them. You'll notice that two of them are a little bit shorter than the others. So we want to just alternate them like so, okay? And we're just gonna glue these pieces together to form a long strip, okay? So I'm gonna take these two. We've got a longer one and a shorter one. I'm gonna take this tab and fold it back, get these two pieces aligned. And I'm gonna glue this to its neighbor over here on the right. Okay, I'm gonna slide this over. This is a shorter piece. So again, we're gonna get a longer piece. I'm gonna bend this tab over. Okay, I'm gonna take and put glue on that tab. Bring this guy right next to him. Push down, hold it in place, let it dry. Okay, give it just a few seconds. And then move on, grab the shorter piece. And we're doing that one more time. So now what we can do is bring both ends together and we're gonna put glue on this tab here. Now, one thing I forgot to mention was that this base piece, actually on, on ours here, we've got a red foil piece that, um, that we've already glued on. This is a little decorative element that we added. Um, definitely put that on there. You can do that now while it's flat, probably would be a lot easier or you can do it later. Um, I just like to work with things when they're flat because you can just apply more pressure and make sure that things are more level and even and that they get a, a better hold when you're gluing. Okay, so we're just gonna connect these two together. And you know that you've got it right because these, these should sit on top of each other and be pretty flush all the way around. Okay, so that is pretty much dry. Okay, and as you can see here, we've formed a base. So you don't wanna put both sides on just yet, okay? And my advice would be to actually put the, what you're gonna decide is the top on first because we can actually flip this over and make sure that it's got a really solid hold, uh, whereas the bottom one may not allow for that sort of precision as far as the gluing goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over now. And as you can see, we have our decorative panel already glued into place. You can do that and I would advise that you do. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put glue along this tab here, all the way around. Okay. I'm gonna grab our top with the decorative panel already on it and position that just so that it gets its initial grip. Use your thumbs and your fingers to kind of work along the edge to make sure that you've got a nice precise alignment. And then once you feel like you've got that initial grip, flip it over and just work your finger in there and slide it while applying a little bit of pressure to make sure that that glue gets a good grip. And again, take your finger and just, just feel the edge of the paper to make sure that you've got it nice and flush all the way around. I uh, didn't put enough glue on this little end here, so I'm gonna go ahead and fix that real quick. Flip it back over and just push and hold that down. Okay, so now, what you're gonna to wanna to do is repeat the same process for the smaller box, okay? And again, you've got two shorter pieces and two longer pieces, and then a top and a bottom. And 
once we've constructed this, in this case, you do want to put the top and the bottom on. We're going to place it inside of the main base, right dead center, just to kind of give this base a little extra foundation for when we eventually put and glue the house down. Okay, so I've gone ahead and put together this little support piece, okay? And just like I mentioned before, it's pretty much the same as putting together the actual base itself, except in this case, we have put the top and bottom on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place glue on this piece here, and I'm gonna go ahead and just pop him right in the middle of this base. And just push and hold down for just a few seconds to make sure he's got a good grip. Okay, and that's just gonna help us for when we place the actual top of the actual base in place. I'm sorry, this is the bottom at this point. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to put glue on this guy here. <clears throat> and then we're gonna place glue on all of these tabs and try to get the glue out as close to the edge as you can just to make sure that it's got a good grip. And now one little strategy that I found with this is when you put this piece down, it kind of helps to fold these out a little bit so that they, they get a good grip. And I'll throw a little bit more glue on here because this might not be enough to hold it, there we go. So take your bottom piece and position it, try to center it as precisely as possible. And then push down, try to spread your fingers out and get as much surface area out of them as you can so that you can try to cover and apply pressure to as many of these sides as possible. Okay, so for the actual roof of our love hut, we've got these two pieces, and these two pieces are gonna make up the round shape of the heart structure. And now we've got on my left side here, I've got the, uh, I've got the heart shape, and what I wanna do is just kinda of get these tabs, I'm sorry, these score lines, kind of trained and bent so that they're ready to form <clears throat> the top of the heart. So it kind of helps to kind of have this on your table and just work your way down each score line. You might need to use your finger a little bit to get the paper going in the direction that you want it to go. And now if you take a look here, this piece has tabs on both ends. This piece has tabs on just one end. You want the tab with on this piece over on this side here because that is actually gonna to connect to another piece later. And we're gonna we're gonna join these two pieces using this tab here. So I'm gonna place glue on this tab here. And I'm just gonna lay that right on there. Make sure that the score lines at the edges are nice and lined up and that this piece is nice and lined up with that score line as well on this piece. And just push and hold that down. Let it get a good grip. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put these side pieces into place. And these two pieces are identical. Uh, we've already got the little decorative panel on it. And in this case, we use just a, a darker pink card stock. So I'm gonna place glue on this tab here. Get a nice good chunk of glue on there. And just line that up with the score line. Make sure that the score lines on the tabs on the sides are aligned with these score lines here just so that we get a nice precise alignment. Okay, so this is what you should end up with when you have all these pieces assembled. Now what we're gonna do is we're going to do, or just create valley folds on all of these little teeth tabs. Okay, and then also you might as well just bring these tabs in as well. Just get those nice and folded. You can do the other side too. It's not really important right now because we're only gonna start with one side, but you may as well just kind of get them into place because eventually they will need to be there. Okay, so what I'm gonna do, and I want mine to look just like the one that we built for the website. 
So I'm going to take the slot or the slit, the mail slot, I should say, and just leave it on the left side. Because technically, you could do that. And it's pretty much the same thing. But I want the slot on the left. So I'm going to pop this up like so. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put glue on just the teeth. Okay. And we have this piece here. This is our liner. Okay. Now on this liner, I've put this decorative and in this case, it's not a patterned piece, it's just a piece of cardstock, but yours can be a patterned piece of paper if you'd like. And I put that on the outside. I'm gonna flip it around, and this is the piece that I'm gonna glue down here to help us form the shape of the top of our love hut, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and begin putting glue on the teeth. So we've got glue on the teeth. I'm gonna take my liner piece, with the decorative element already, or the panel, I should say, already in place. You can put that on later, but again, it's always nice to be able to put things on like this when this item's flat. It just makes it so much easier. So we're gonna pop this guy into place and just kinda use that center as a guide. And then as you're pushing down with this hand, use your hand to kinda push along the outside to get this into place and then just push down to hold it in place. So you're just kind of using this piece, this heart-shaped piece, as a guide to push the walls, or in this case, the roof, into place. And just run your finger along the edge there, and it will just naturally fall into shape. Okay, and then once it looks like it's got a good shape, use your fingers, spread them out, Try to cover as much surface area as possible and hold those down until they get a good grip. Okay, now that it's got a decent grip, I'm gonna get both hands in there and push down even more just to make sure that it's got a good hold, okay? It's been about 35, 45 seconds now. I'm pretty confident that it's got a good grip, okay? So I'm just gonna move this out of the way. And now what we're gonna do so we're gonna put glue on these long tabs and get those glued into place. Now the beautiful part of that, just doing the teeth, is that you can actually swing this out and get glue along this whole thing. There we go. And you're just gonna slide those underneath there. Same with the other one. I'm doing both at the same time because I'm crazy like that but you don't necessarily have to. You can do one at a time, whatever you're more comfortable with. So let's take a look at what we have. And that, to me, looks like a really good job, actually. There are just maybe one or two small little tabs that could use a little touch-up, but nobody's perfect. We all make mistakes. Okay, guys, so at this point, we have the back of it pretty much constructed. All we're doing now is repeating the same process for the front. And this is the front, the one with the little window cutouts. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over on the other, other side. I'm gonna open this little door so that you can kind of see the tabs. And again, we're just repeating the same process. We're gonna start by putting glue on the teeth and getting that part of it into shape. And then I'm going to grab my liner and pop it in there. Again, I'm using the center of the heart to get it initially aligned. Let me see if I can actually show you this on camera. I will do my best. And then again, like we did the first time, I'm using my finger to kind of run along the outer edge to push it into place. And then I'm just going to apply pressure, downward force, downward pressure to make sure that that glue gets a grip and really sticks. Okay, so I've got the, the teeth part of that all done. Now I'm just flipping this over so that I can get some glue on this tab here. It's just a little bit easier than trying to dig, dig in um, with it flipped over. So now I can go ahead and push these over and flip this back over and get these aligned into place. Let, let me pop this door open here so you can see inside. Okay, so let's start with the back of the house. Now this is the uh, actual panel piece and there's a decorative 
pattern piece that goes right on top of this. And you can get that aligned by just following this little cutout here. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to place glue. And actually, I'm going to place glue on the actual structure because it's just more sturdy and easier to work with. And I'm just going to do that. And let me take a look at something here. Yep. And then I'm just going to place glue on this guy here. So I'm going to go ahead and place this down and just run your fingers along the edge of this house just to make sure that you've got everything nice and lined up. Use your finger, just kind of run your finger um, gently along the edge of the box. And you can stick your, stick your hand in there too and kind of push and sandwich these pieces so that they get a better grip. You can also flip it over and push down this way. There's so many ways to do this. Uh, whatever you're most comfortable with and there's no right or wrong way. Okay, so that is the back of the house. And look at this cute little door. It will eventually allow you to retrieve, uh, in my case, a mouse. In your child's case, their valentines, whatever it may be. Okay, so now the front, we have this panel piece that's going to go on here. But before we do that, we're going to want to take this and decorate this piece. Okay, so let me just talk briefly about that. Now, uh, we have our vellum pieces already in place, okay, and we're putting them on the back of this scalloped heart piece just so that it's sandwiched in between and you don't have a stray piece of vellum in here to possibly um, rip or, or whatever, get torn by um, a card or something. So place your vellum pieces on first, Okay, and then just take a look at the photo uh, on the website as far as the positioning of these decorative elements on this scallop piece. Okay, and then what we're going to do is we're going to glue this into place. And you just want to look at the alignment and just make sure that you've got the frame, the middle frame of this window lined up with the middle of this uh, window. What is this called? Just the window frame. Okay, so that's how you know that you've got everything in place. And we're just going to glue that down again, just using the window frame as our source for alignment. And also, these little hearts in the door you can use those to kind of guide you. Okay, the rest of these decorative pieces are pretty self explanatory. So you're going to do just fine with those, I'm sure. All right, so let's grab the structure. And just like we did with the back, I'm going to place glue along the uh, top of the heart, the circular area, and just get a nice generous coat of glue along the edge. And we're going to take the piece that we just finished putting together with the vellum, the decorative pieces, and just pop it right on the front. Again, take your fingers and just gently glide them along the side of the box here just to make sure that everything is nicely aligned. There we go. Beautiful. So we have the main structure and actually all those layers and all those panels. This thing is really sturdy too. It actually really is sturdy. Okay, so let's go ahead and assemble the shingles and put the shingles in place. Okay. Now what you're going to want to do is you want to lay these out and I'll, I'll tell you exactly how to lay them out. So as far as the shingles go, this, this section here, this first section before the first score mark, you're going to leave that alone. You're not putting anything on there. Same goes for this piece here. Okay. So now this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay. And what I've done is I laid my pieces out in that sequence. So here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we have one other piece without a number on it that will eventually get glued on to the top 
of that number nine. And again, with this, we've got nine, and that's gonna go on like that. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so on the left side of the house, the numbers are gonna be at the top. The right side of the house, the numbers are gonna be on the bottom. Okay, so let me go ahead and just divide these and move the right side of the house out of the way and get this into the frame so we can start putting the shingles on of the left side, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and start, you wanna start with your number one. So we're gonna go ahead and begin putting the shingles on. Now if you really want to give this thing a more dimensional look, you can take your thumb and just kind of bend these out with your thumb just to kind of make them pop a little bit. It's totally optional, but I think it really adds to it a little bit or a lot. So all of these are gonna have mountain folds. So you wanna just initially give it a nice fold and then just kind of pop it back almost to its center point. And then as you start to put them on, you'll kind of feel the natural curve of the shape. So we're gonna go ahead and put glue on the first tab. Okay, and again, these little cutouts here on both sides help you with the placement. So you wanna make sure that these line up with the edge of the heart. Okay, so we're gonna skip this first section here and move up to this section right here, that, that second one. And we're gonna place our number one right on there. Make sure that those, those lines are nice and aligned. Okay, I'm gonna put this on its side just so that it's easier for me to work with it. And we're just gonna glue that down. Glue it down and give it a second to hold. Make sure that's got a good grip. Okay, and we're gonna grab our number two. And just kind of fold it and bend it. And we're gonna place our number two on that next section. Just making sure that we've got those little cutouts aligned with the edges of the actual structure. And next is number three. And as you can see, it's kind of alternating colors. Okay. So we've got a piece of cardstock followed by a decorative piece and so on and so forth. And I'm just gonna continue up the chain here. Repeat that same process. You can actually stick your finger in there too. Stick your hand in there to kind of push it from the inside to make sure that that gets a good hold. Okay, so I've got pieces one through eight in place. Now, uh, piece number nine is basically the same, but I just wanted to make sure that you guys saw it. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and place glue on the tab part. Okay, and also along this little thin edge. You don't wanna get glue past that little score mark. Okay, because that's not gonna be glued down to anything. So just make sure that you keep it within those guides. And we're gonna glue this down, just making sure that we've got it in place so that it's not obstructing our little mail slot. Okay, so just hold that down while it dries. So we've got one through nine in place. Now again, this is the last piece here that isn't numbered, and that's gonna just fall into place here. We're gonna glue that to this last section here, okay? And with this piece, it's engineered so that it fits perfectly and doesn't obstruct our little mail slot as well. And actually for this piece here, I probably wanna put a little bit of glue just underneath these shingles. Kinda of keep them in place too. So that when you put your little Valentine through the slot, doesn't come loose, okay? So the process for the other side of this is exactly the same. Now just, I'm not gonna do it because it's redundant, but I just go over real quickly. Just uh, again, you're gonna take your number one piece, okay, and the number one is gonna start not on the first segment here, but on the second one. Use 
the little guides for alignment, piece two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then again, that last piece without a number is gonna go on last, just like we did with the other piece. It's gonna go on just like that. So you're just repeating the same process for the other side of the heart. And that is how you assemble the shingles for the main structure. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is assemble one of the sides of the house. It's gonna connect to this side here. And we've got these two pieces. Now for this piece here, we've already glued our vellum into place and we've glued the decorative panel as well as the window frame and this little, uh, this little heart as well. So this is how you wanna visualize it. You wanna visualize this as the roof, okay? And this is the side with the window. This is your base. And this is the inside piece that's gonna to connect to the actual main structure. And the reason we have this hole here is to allow light to kind of seep through here and make its way out of that little side window. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna glue these pieces together. I'm gonna go ahead and place glue on this tab here and connect it with this piece here. Just make sure that everything's nice and aligned. Okay, then we're gonna take it and we're gonna connect these two pieces. I'm gonna place glue on this tab here and just get that glued into place. And just kind of hold that in place until it's nice and dry, or at least close to it. Okay, so we've got the structure put together. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these liner pieces, okay, and there's two of them. Okay, one's gonna go on the front, one's gonna go on the back. And I'm gonna get these tabs into place, okay. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slide one of these tabs, or one of these liner pieces, I should say, into place, okay? And as you can see, I've got this piece here. And before I do so, I'm gonna go ahead and apply glue to the tabs inside, okay? So I've, I've, gotten, I've got that liner piece in there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start kind of squishing this into place and form the curves by using that, that liner as a guide. Do your best to get that into place. And then once you have it exactly where it needs to be, just kind of push down and hold it until everything dries. Okay, so I'm just doing my best and being patient here making sure that all of these tabs get a good hold. And again, you've got plenty of little holes to get your fingers in there, just to make sure that you've got everything nice and aligned. Okay, and there you go. Now, of course, you know, it doesn't look the best, but again, that's our liner piece to help us get the structure and get everything in place because eventually we're just gonna take this really polished piece and just glue that right on there. And it's gonna really clean it up and bring everything together. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna kind of fold these tabs out so that we can quickly get glue on them. And we're gonna fold them in and take our other liner and just pop it through that little side hole. And we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna use it to form the other side of this side structure of the house. And just make sure that you're putting it in correctly. Okay, so that's about right. I'm gonna fold these over quickly while the glue is still fresh. Okay. I'm gonna flip it over. And again, I'm using that liner as a guide to put all of these and get them all into place. Okay, so I've got the side structure all put together. 
using the uh, nice liner. And what we're gonna do, just to kind of finish it off, is take the actual panel pieces, or the side pieces with the decorative panels. I've already got mine on there, so you're gonna wanna do that with yours. And you're just gonna glue these right on there. And then you can take it and flip it over and push down just to make sure that it gets a good grip. Okay, and then we're gonna repeat the same process on the other side. Okay, so next, we're gonna take this decorative piece and we're gonna put glue right there. We're gonna start by gluing that piece down first. That piece just gets glued like that. Okay, and just press and hold that down until you get a good grip. And then also just make sure that the alignment on the sides looks good as well, and it does. So once that gets a good grip, give that a second to dry. I'm gonna flip it over on one side, and you can probably just take glue and apply it to that part there and to the other side as well. There we go. And just glue that into place. So now the roof piece, you wanna take your finger and just kind of train it so that it curves a little bit, okay? Because our roof has a natural curve. We're gonna take and glue this. The top part of this is gonna be flush like that. And it's gonna hang over the side here. And it's also just gonna hang off on this side and on the back side, just a tiny little bit, okay? So we can go ahead and put our glue on the top of the structure. And then just make sure that your pattern is facing the right way. And just glue that right on there, making sure that it's nice and aligned and equal and then flush with this piece here. Just push down. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this piece that we just created and attach it to the side. Now these holes here are the exact same size. Okay, so it's gonna make the alignment very easy. So I'm gonna go ahead and put glue all over this piece here. Okay, give it a nice generous amount of glue because we really, really want this to hold on tight. Okay, and then you can just pop your hand in through the house and kind of grab that like that and then just use your whole hand and you do need to slide it up underneath the shingles okay so start kind of underneath slide it underneath the shingles and then stick your hand in there make sure that those two pieces are lined up perfectly and then you can apply pressure from the inside to get these to really connect and hold on to each other Okay, so now your house obviously is gonna have your shingles in place and you're gonna have your other half connected just like we just did. And at this point, what you can do is get your, get the bottom of this in place. And we left that open just to make life easier as far as the rest of the assembly goes. And we'll just kind of pop this in place at the end. And what we're gonna do in order to accomplish that is we're gonna put glue on this tab here and we're gonna put some glue on this tab here. Okay, and then we're gonna put glue on these tabs. Okay, so now since your house has both sides already in place, when you put this base piece in, you're gonna to wanna to flip it over so that you can reach your hand in through the back, place it down so it's level, and then just take, and take those tabs and just kind of push them into place from the inside. So let's go ahead and assemble the little chimney. Now, um, I'm holding it in my hand here. The little tab is over on the right. Okay, that's the top, that's the bottom. All we're gonna do is just fold these little score lines and just kind of start forming the stem of the chimney, okay? All right, and all I'm gonna do is I'm going to glue this little tab over to the other end, okay? And it's thick enough to where you can still get a finger in there. 
And if you can't get a finger in there, you can definitely grab a pencil or some kind of stylus or something else just to kind of help you with that. And you can put, put it down on the uh, table just to get that glue to stick. But that's um, it's pretty much how that works. Okay, so the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take these teeth and actually for now what we want to do is we want to slide this through the other part of our chimney. Okay, and once we have it through we're going to take these teeth and bend them over. We're going to place glue on, on underneath them and we're going to kind of glue it to this other piece here. And you want to make sure that you've got this over enough. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put glue. Now this is going to be hidden, so it doesn't need to be perfect. I'm just going to get a nice generous layer of glue underneath these teeth and then eventually we're just going to fold them over. I'm sticking my finger through the base of this guy here just for added support. There's a nice little tip from Ron. And we're just going to push these out and just make sure that they get a good grip and a good hold. And actually, you can probably take this and push it down even just to make sure that those grip. You don't want to leave it there too long because then it's going to get stuck to the paper. But that was good enough to where it's got a really good grip on the inside of that. Okay, so now what we're going to do is form the top of the chimney. Okay, so we're folding these pieces over, and each of these pieces also has its own little tab that you want to fold in. You want to make those uh, mountain folds. Okay, so I've got all these folded up and I've got the tabs folded as well. I'm going to start with this piece here. There's a little gap here. So start with the one to the right of the gap and just go ahead and place a little bit of glue up to the edge and glue this piece right into place like so. Okay, give it a second to dry and you can move on to the next piece. Okay, I'm just going to put glue on this tab here. And glue that into place. I used way too much glue on that piece there. Okay, give that a second to dry. And we're going to repeat that process all the way around. Almost there. It's, uh, it's kind of a small piece, but the tabs are big enough to where it's not very challenging. And again, this is a really whimsical piece. So those odd shapes and bends just really add to the overall aesthetic. There's no wrong way to do it. Okay, now what we've done to make this, this last part easy on you, actually that didn't, didn't hold as well as I'd hoped because I wasn't patient. So I'm gonna just press and hold that down for just another few seconds here. There we go. Now this last gap piece here, what we're gonna do is you'll notice that there's a little triangular tab. I'm gonna glue that into place first. I'm going to pop that right in there and just press and hold that for a second just to let it grip. And this last piece actually gets folded on top to finish it off. So there's one tab. I think that's got a good hold. I'll show you what I mean here. You've got this tab here. We're going to place glue on that. Okay. Then we're also going to place glue on this entire piece here so that when we push this down, It'll close up beautifully. Okay, so we've got the chimney together. I think it came out really cool. Like I said, this looks like a little mushroom. It really does. You can make a bunch of these and create a whole little forest scene for a kid's diorama. All right, so I'm gonna push these teeth in and don't push them in too much. It's kind of nice when they're kind of resisting a little bit. So when you do put that little piece on there and you push down, there's enough resistance to kind of give you 
um, enough force from the teeth to actually want to actually grip this piece. So I'm just kind of gluing that into place. So now our little chimney is done. What I'm going to go ahead and do is put glue on this base that we just put on. And you know, there's really no wrong place to put it. I think uh, I kind of decided on the last one where I wanted it and I'm going to put it in the same place, just right on that little roof there. Give it a few seconds to get a grip and hold. And there you go. Okay, so there's your little chimney. That's all set. And now again, yours is gonna have shingles. You'll have your other piece. All that's really left to do is to glue it onto its base. Okay, so we're almost done here. Next thing you wanna do is you wanna take glue and just apply glue to the entire base. Okay, on all three segments, get a nice amount of glue on there. So yours is gonna have three segments. And as far as placing it on the base, you wanna center it and you wanna take and make the back of the house flush with the back of the base. Okay, so do your best to get that all aligned. And if you need to, you can stick your hand through the, through the back of it to apply force without crushing the roof. Okay, so you're gonna do that. And then finally, we've got our little heart shrubs. And they, there's two layers. We've got a um, uh, glitter layer on top of a patterned paper and then there's a tab here that you're gonna add glue to and just kind of affix to the base in front of one of the sides, okay? And we kinda of wanna position that about halfway between the front of the house and the front of one of the sides. You know, there's really no right or wrong place to put this. I think initially we were going to pop dot this to the to the side, but it does tend to kind of stand up fairly well on its own. If you want, you can add a couple pop dots back there just to make sure it doesn't flail around. You repeat the same process on the other side. And then finally, you have to have a welcome mat. So you want to go ahead and just glue that into place right about there. And what we did with ours was actually, uh, we took some rhinestones here, just to kind of create the illusion of an illuminated um, pathway. But that is your love hut.